Hey folks, Jen or Mer Griffin here, and today I'm going to take a, take a look at a mod that I've been avoiding for a while, but I actually kind of ended up liking it a little bit. Let's take a look at the Saber Touch from Vapor Moon and all the customizable goodies that you can get with it. Let's take a dive. So let's take a look at the Saber Touch. Now you can pretty much customize this completely if you go to their website. I picked a purple rough exterior. Um, they, come, they come in all different kinds of colors and finishes. I paid extra to get some racing stripes etched down. Um, you don't have to get those. You can see the nice large vent holes on the bottom. Um, there's also a multitude of different tops. I chose the plain brass. They have some that have some ribbing and edging design along the top. A 510 connector with a small drip well. And the touch switch. And then I uh, have a matching cap on the bottom, which is brass. And allows us to put in 18650 or two RCR 123As in there. As you can see, that's pretty thick metal. Um, feels quite solid. Then there's a little label in there saying what batteries uh, are approved for use. Now, I've found that some of my AW18650s are too short. You kind of need one that comes down a little far um, so that spring has enough tension to push it up. If it's a little shorter, that tension doesn't go very well. And this cap screws on perfectly. Now, the idea of the Sabre Touch and the Touch button is you don't have to push it and get clicky. You just have to touch that metal in the center of the button. Now, you are making sort of the electrical connection yourself. So you have to be touching either the top or the bottom cap or the naked metal in the middle of the mod. If you're not touching one of those things with the other part of your hand, then the mod won't activate. But most of the way, you know, that I hold it to either activate that button with my pointer finger or my thumb, um, you know, it hits fine. And a person with a smaller hand can maybe touch that naked metal on the band, which is one reason to get those etchings on the cover. But I thought purple and brass with little silver hands looked pretty cool. Now, you can also add some other extras. And what I was really interested in was the pass-through. Not a lot of mods come with pass-throughs anymore, and I hate those special ones. So what you can do is you can order this pass-through piece for your mod, and it's going to take the place of your battery, and it has its own, you know, matching. You have to make sure you get the matching end cap. Now this one screws on a little rougher. I'm not sure if it's... I'm going to have to go in there and clean out those threads and uh, loop them up. It's not quite on. Let me try it again. That got it. Now you can also order a bunch of different ways to power it as pass-through and I got a couple of them. Um, one way was just a simple cable USB to plug into your computer and the other end to plug into the mod so that I can run this straight off my laptop, my desktop, whatever, and it'll run at the standard output of a USB. 3.7-ish, not much higher, but you no know, adjustments available. You can also get just a wall outlet, a simple, cheaper charger that will do that. What I went with was the more expensive one, which has a wall socket. Um, one end plugs into the mod, and then you have this little box in the middle that allows you to adjust the voltage going to the mod from 3.3 to 4.2 to 5.0 to 6.5 to 8 point something to 11 point something. I'm probably never going to use it over 5. Um, in fact, I pretty much keep it at 4.2, and that's how I've been using it. I've been plugging this in by my desk. I've been plugging this in by my recliner when I'm watching a movie or TV, and it's perfect because 4.2 is sort of my sweet spot for most things, low LR, and it keeps that consistently, and that's been great. So the wall adapter plugs into this box, this box plugs into the mod, and there'll be a little light on the box with the voltage sections on it when those are ready. So that's a close-up look at the Vapor Moon. I have been basically using it for more than a week, um, plugged in to the surge suppressor under my desk, set at 4.2 volts on the uh, on the little boxy, which is mostly my sweet spot. Which is mostly where I have you know my Probaris, 
set and while I like my helix because that big battery fires pretty much there um, if I want to put something on here I have runner at about 5 volts for a while um, it's just so really easy to use I mean you can just hear it go just by running your finger over the button um, so there's no you know pressure you do have to pay a little attention to where you have your hands because um, again you have to hit either the bottom cap the top cap or some of the naked metal in order to make it fire you also have to be a little careful um, you know if you have it like say in your pocket next to another metal mod and those ends touch um, there have been some people that have had it fire, you know, in a pocket. Um, I think the simplest answer would be, one, take the battery out. Don't have it in a pocket with, like, your metal keys or something that could make that contact between the metal and the switch. It's really the only caveat. Um, I haven't taken it out of the house because it's kind of pretty. I mean, it's not, um, you know, it's not as fancy and finished as some of the other tube mods that are out there, but... The fact that you can like completely customize it and use it with a pass-through. The only other pass-through I have, and I thought I brought it in, but I don't know where I put it, is the uh, the BB, the Black Beauty, or the the, the Silver Bullet Baby Brother from AltSmoke.com. I have that with a pass-through attachment that I usually leave in the car, so that if I'm going on a long trip, I just you know pop my cartomizer tank or whatever on top of the BB and use it as a pass-through in the car. Um, so I didn't have one for the house. So that's basically what this has been. I don't know if I would go for this a whole lot if it was just a battery operated tube mod. I have a ton of those. What I was really interested in was the pass through and the ability to set the pass through on the wall socket to be exactly 4.2 or five volts or whatever you might like. And that has been perfect. Now it was a little pricey with all those extra things that I got and you necessarily wouldn't need to get all those extra things. Um, it also comes in a mini model and you can also get it in variable voltage. That costs more. I figured I was getting the variable voltage from the pass through which I intended to use anyway so I didn't go for the variable voltage tube part to operate on its own. Um, and that does, you know, if I want to take this pass through part out I have another cap to put a battery in. Now the site can get a little confusing because you basically aren't ordering just a mod. You are ordering all the bits to make your custom mod. It took about three to four weeks to get to me because they had to make it as I ordered it. So you get to choose, you know, brass or chrome um, turned or uh, with little, um, you know, marks up here to make the trim fancy. Um, there's a whole bunch of different options for the top and the bottom caps. There's a ton of color and finish options for the body itself. Um, all sorts of different powder, smooth, and other kinds of coatings. And there's a ton of different options for, um, you know, the racing stripes or just a solid band. Um, some of them are designed to make it easier to have to hit naked metal and the switch to fire it a little easier. And those are in the comments. There's a ton of options for the pass through box unit you have to order that separately and then you can separately pick how you want to charge the pass through um, there are less fancy wall socket units than the one I have that is adjustable um, you can also just get the cable to plug it into your computer if that's pretty much where you are all the time you know like me because you're a nerd um, but anyway that is the Saber Touch um, I've kind of been enjoying it mostly because I really wanted another pass through and in that way it's been working great for me Your mileage may vary. Thanks for watching.